An unusual hire within the Bay District Schools prompting an investigation by News 13. And just as we started asking questions, the employee in question resigned. News 13's Aaron Morgan joins us now with more. Aaron, what's going on? Jerry, we noticed something unusual today after the district announced a slate of new police officers. These school district employees would be charged with would be in charge of keeping children safe while on campus. One of these new employees was former Mexico Beach Police Chief Glenn Norris. Glenn Norris served as the chief of the Mexico Beach Police Department until 2016 when he and the city were sued by five employees. The employees making serious claims about Norris's behavior while leading them, also accusing him of sexual harassment and inappropriate comments in the workplace. One of the employees even stated that Norris had child pornography on his work computer. The claims were settled without a trial and Norris resigned in the midst of the situation. However, Norris told News 13 at the time his resignation had not nothing to do with the lawsuit. When we called the school district Tuesday morning to ask about Norris's employment, they said they were unaware of the civil lawsuit, but it was covered extensively by the local media. After this, the situation quickly changed. Norris resigned from his job shortly before noon. School safety chief Mike Jones issuing this statement following his resignation. We thoroughly background check all of our employees and each officer candidate was fully vetted through the FDLE and other channels. Today we were made aware of some allegations of discrimination in a previously settled lawsuit involving one of our new hires. And that person has since resigned his position with our department. We are committed to the safety of our students and we will do all we can to ensure that we are hiring the very best officers to protect them. Now, of course, school safety is a topic on everyone's minds with Bay District schools going back tomorrow.